Hello everyone, and welcome to a special guided meditation episode of Refractive Podcast. I'm Johnny G. There are so many people who say they can't meditate. It just doesn't work. They can't sink into the moment and stop their endless stream of thoughts. As for me, I can't tell you how many times I've finished a meditation full of frustration about the incessant thoughts that got in the way of my objective. It was years into my meditation journey that I realized that the thoughts that come up are valuable parts of my meditations, and they're not an obstacle. Meditating is simply pouring your awareness into the present moment. We meditate when our favorite song comes on and we lose ourselves in it. We meditate when we're overcome with grief and there's no room left inside for anything but that heavy sadness. We meditate when we're on a roller coaster and we are thrilled with adventure. All of these are forms of meditation because In those moments, we are fully immersed in the now. Meditation, as we tend to think of it, the act of entering into ourselves for mental, emotional, and spiritual health has come to imply that your thoughts will fade away if you do it the right way. And it is true that like a muscle, we can train our minds to grow quiet if we're dedicated to a regular, frequent practice of silent meditation. That said, As I learned while spending two weeks living in a Buddhist monastery this year, even the monks who have meditated for several hours a day for decades experience thoughts rising during their practice. The fact is, our job is to recognize that we're thinking and to think of the thoughts as we might see a commercial during our favorite TV show. We'd rather be watching the show, but sometimes commercials are just part of the deal, so let's just watch them too. And we can learn from experience that the show will come back on shortly if we're willing to wait. Guided meditations were how I first learned to start a meditation practice. And I hope the several meditations available on Refractive Podcast are helpful to you. If you haven't tried the other ones, check out episode 23, a guided meditation on receiving love. Episode 15, which is ocean stillness. And episode 11, what's my purpose? All right. Get in your favorite meditation position and let's go. Let's start by getting in a comfortable position. Sit down, lie down, whichever you prefer. Get nice and comfy and let's get your spine into a straight, but relaxed position. Take a moment just to settle in to your chosen position. And just breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your attention to your face. It's easy to store a lot of tension in these tiny facial muscles. Let's just scan from top to bottom. Is there any room to relax your forehead? Your eyebrows? Can you let your eyelids Relax softly and naturally. Is there any tension in your temples, in your cheeks? Can you relax your nose, your lips? What about your teeth? Is there any tension to let go of in your jaw? Just notice how much more relaxing your face feels now than just a moment ago. Let's keep moving down to the neck. Is your head in a comfortable position? Does your neck feel strong but loose? Balanced. 
is there any opportunity to let go of tension in your shoulders? Maybe you can drop your shoulders just a little bit and let your upper arms just hang in their own weight. See if there's any opportunity to relax your chest, your upper back. We even sometimes can store some tension in our hands. And we just let the hands fall. Let them lie of their own gravity. Your torso. Is there any clenching happening in your stomach, in your pelvic area? your buttocks. As we move down the legs, they have done such a good job of supporting you and they deserve a rest. Can we just let go of the tension and the stress and the work your legs have to do? And just let your upper legs relax, your lower legs relax. your feet and feel your body pressed into the surface. Maybe it's a chair, maybe it's a bed, maybe it's a mat or a floor. Feel the surface that's holding you up and bring your attention to the base of your spine. Feel the base of your spine pressing into the surface. Notice all of the sensations of your base being supported. Visualize your spine as a tree. Its roots spread out from the base. They spread into the ground, hold you steady. And your spine, like a tree, is straight and tall. Can you feel your lower back, its curve? Gently tense your lower back muscles just for a second so that you can feel them and know that they're there. Rock your pelvis just a tiny bit. Again, just so you know it's there. Feel the muscles respond to your direction to rock back and forth just a bit. Sense into the feeling of your back, your feet, your buttocks, all pressing into the surface. What sensations are there for you? If you're sitting upright, let the weight of your chest and your head simply press down in a straight line onto your base. If you're lying down, Feel the entire surface pushing up against all parts of your spine, holding you securely in place. Let's sense into other areas of the body and see what's there. Let your belly be soft and relaxed. Notice, are there any sensations in your torso? If there are, what do they feel like? You might feel a free-form ball of energy gently taking up space. You might feel a sensation with more movement than that. Maybe it feels warm. Maybe it feels cool. Maybe it's flexible. Maybe it's a more stable shape. Whatever you feel, know that it's perfect. Just notice it. Sometimes there's a color that comes to mind. Let's spend just a few moments observing what that energy in your torso might look like, feel like, be like. 
And if there's no energy at all that you can sense there, can you just observe the gentle effect your breath has on your torso? Feel into your chest. As you breathe in, notice what it feels like to have your ribs expand outward. Notice the subtle transitions between the torso and the chest as you inhale and exhale. Do your shoulders shift a little as you breathe in and breathe out? As you breathe out, there's a softening that happens everywhere in the body. Sense into your lower gut as you breathe out. Do you notice a relaxing sensation? You're already relaxed. It seems like you couldn't relax anymore. But as you keep your attention on your lower stomach, each time you breathe out, it gets more soft, more relaxed. And it's not necessary to direct your breathing or to stretch it out any longer than it is. Just allow your body to breathe the best way it knows how. As you inhale, it's like there's a thread of breath that pulls the air in and down through your torso. And as you breathe out, that same thread of air, that same column of air, seems to reverse out. Let your attention move from the torso and chest up to the throat as you breathe. Do you feel cool air enter your throat? The air leaving your throat is body temperature, so it might not be as easy to notice as it moves through your lungs, throat nose, mouth. See if you can. Notice the tiny pause in between inhaling and exhaling. There's no air moving, but something is always happening in the body. So what's going on? You might be able to feel a very subtle release mechanism switching on and off behind the palate, behind the mouth, at the top of the throat, which helps you to switch from breathing in to breathing out. Take a moment just to notice all the sensations in your throat as you breathe in, breathe out, and pause in between. As you pay attention to those throat sensations, you may notice that thoughts have melted away. The more awareness you bring to sensing the body, the less space is available in the mind for daydreaming and the endless streaming of thoughts. Let's check again to make sure that the breath is moving on its own. There's no need to direct your breathing or to make it look or feel like any particular thing. Directing your breath is a form of thinking. What we want is to watch, to notice, to observe. Narrating or assigning words can be counterproductive, although at some points it may happen naturally. If it does, 
Simply recall your intention to observe without narrating. Meditation isn't the absence of thought. It just means being fully aware of what's going on. And sometimes what's going on is a thought. That's just how we're wired. Breathe in. Feel the breath enter. Feel the breath exit. If you direct your attention to any part of your body while you inhale and exhale, you may notice a subtle rhythmic shifting of energy. Energy that gently gathers in that spot that you notice as you inhale. An energy being released in a soothing way as you exhale. Try this with your shoulders. Bring your attention to your shoulders. And as you breathe in and breathe out, is there any subtle change in what it feels like inside your shoulders? Can you feel the gentle energy glowing and fading? How about the back of your hands? Breathe in, breathe out. See if there's a different sensation on the back of your hands between when you take the breath in and when you let the breath out. Can you feel the energy gather at the back of your hands as you take in a breath? And can you feel the energy release as you let go of that breath? Notice how incredibly relaxed your body is becoming. Everything is taken care of for you in this moment. You don't need to do anything, to have anything, to take care of anything. This moment is about luxuriating in a relaxed state. Again, thoughts may arise. Recall your intention to observe without narrating. And you may need to return to that intention several times, and that's normal. Even for Buddhist monks with decades of focus on meditation, believe it or not. You didn't choose to think, and you can't simply choose not to think. So, we just notice the thought arrive, and we kindly, gently, warmly recall our intention, and allow the thought to float away just like a puff of warm breath on a cold day. As you experience your breathing, let's see if we can widen our awareness to the entire body. Your awareness might look like a sphere of light in your torso, and maybe you can gradually grow it to fill all parts of your body. Take a few moments and sense into and enjoy this expanded awareness of feeling your entire body at the same time. As you focus on the energy of breathing, you may notice some parts of your body tingling. Maybe a part of your face has a slight tingling or the sensation of a gentle touch. Some people notice a tingle between the eyebrows. Some people notice a gentle shifting sensation on the cheeks. What can you feel? If you notice any sort of sensation or tingling in your face? Does it shift slightly 
as you move from inhaling to exhaling. Breathe in, breathe out. Just notice. And if you can, if it works for you, keep your attention on your entire body. Keep your attention on your face in case there are any small sensations you notice. And now, in addition to that, let's see what it's like to bring in the environment around us to our attention. Open the boundaries of your experience to everything around you, everything that can be perceived around you. Notice what you can feel, but also everything else that can be perceived. Imagine that the body is not solid. The lines, the boundaries of your body have grown blurry. They've blended with your environment. How much can you perceive? Sense into expanding your awareness to include your body and the environment around it. And let's take a couple of moments to observe what's happening inside, what's happening outside, as much of our experience as we can. Let's bring the attention back to the physical body. Can you feel your weight pressing into the surface? Get a sense of the boundaries of your body. Before opening your eyes, move your fingers, move your toes, flex some of the muscles in your back. Then slowly, gently, open your eyes and absorb the sights in front of you. Can you find any gratitude in this moment? If you find gratitude, send a message of thanks out to the universe around you. Imagine that message of thanks and gratitude pulsing out in all directions, covering all parts of the earth, shining out, in all directions of the universe, like the light of a star crossing the cosmos. And as you go through the rest of the day, see if you can carry the peace of this moment, the gratitude of this moment with you, and share it with those around you. This is what's called aiming your light. This meditation is offered to you in love. It's offered to you in service. May you be well.